organization, budgeting, planning, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um, yeah, not being impulse buying, mm-hmm. discipline, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then knowing when you're in trouble and getting help financially mm-hmm. as well. Like mm-hmm. it could be going to a professional, or it could even be going to a family member. Because mm-hmm. you may, you may be just stuck for, you know, a part of the month, and then mm-hmm. by the time you get your paycheck, you can pay that family member back, and, mm-hmm. and with the payment repayment back to your family member, make sure you pay them on time, so that if you get in trouble again, they won't mm-hmm. hesitate to help you again. Mm-hmm. And if you do need to borrow money from a friend or family, pay it mm-hmm. back. And if you're having difficulty paying it back, communicate that to them. Mm-hmm. Don't just go mm-hmm. silent and mm-hmm. hope or not hope, thinking that it will go away. And it, mm-hmm. it just puts that extra level of respect there that they know that they're going to get their money back, but mm-hmm. you're just having problems with paying it back rather than going silent mm-hmm. and acting as if you're never going to pay it back so mm-hmm. you can keep your integrity and trustworthy then they'll be more likely to lend you the money again whether it's mm-hmm. even a small amount or a big amount or whatever it is like just mm-hmm. keep the lines of communication open and yeah mm-hmm. that's what I yeah. yeah yeah that's a really good point um going like getting people who you know to mm. help you out of a mm. sticky situation mm. if you're in one I think that's the main thing with mental health when you're having an issue, just reach out to somebody, speak mm. to someone, don't mm. ignore it, don't bottle mm. it up and mm. don't um, pretend that it's mm. not happening. It mm. is happening. So try mm. your best to to deal with it somehow. And if that just means telling someone that, look, I can't deal with this right now. Can you help yeah. me? Yeah. If you've got someone who can help you, then yeah. just ask because people are willing to help. Yeah. Ask. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's that's um that's a really good point yeah um yes i was gonna make a second <laughs> point <laughs> where are you oh I was <laughs> i've forgotten what you're gonna say i have <laughs> um yeah so asking for help and then yes so if you have certain things like if you have adhd you might not be able to budget because Mm. that is a symptom of adhd in itself Mm. like Mm. organizing and doing things which are boring and Mm. having a lack of concentration Mm. all of that can affect your ability to sit down and do a budget you might not be Mm. able to do it so Mm. what you need to do is come up with a different strategy for Mm. yourself Mm. So let's say some people they can sit down next. I'm gonna spend this on food. I'm gonna spend this on rent. Mm. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if you've got ADHD, maybe you want to do it differently. Maybe you want to say, okay, this is my income, right? Yes. So these are my essential bills. So you know, mm. let's say, oh, I'm going into maths again. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's say, like, if you were, <laughs> let's say if you were earning like three thousand yeah. pounds or whatever. And then mm. your bills are like two thousand, right? Mm. So you, as soon as you get paid, mm-hmm. you, you you know you have a thousand pounds spare. Yeah. So what do you want to do with that thousand pounds spare? You now say, okay, I want to save like I don't know three hundred pounds, and then I want to um, spend the rest of it on yeah. myself. I want to buy clothes, blah blah blah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So you now move that one thousand pounds, which is your spending money, move mm. it to a different account. Yes. Now that becomes your spending money account. Mm-hmm. So during the month, if you want to do anything, sorry, you needed to move it to two accounts. So you move your three hundred pounds to a savings account, and then you mm. don't touch that. Mm-hmm. So you know your savings. As soon as you get paid, you're paying yourself first. Yes. So you've got your savings sorted. Like so. a standing order or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You set up a standing order. Mm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You set. You use the bank system to help you to do it. So you set a standing mm-hmm. order. As mm-hmm. soon as that money comes in, the day you mm-hmm. get paid, the savings go to your savings account. Mm-hmm. And then the spending money goes to your spending money account. Mm. So then 
during the month you're not touching that other account that other account all your payments your bill payments are mm-hmm. on automatic mm-hmm. so all your bills will come out of that and the money's mm-hmm. already sitting there for those mm-hmm. bills mm-hmm. but you're not you're not going to overspend you're not going to go over your budget because you're only spending what's in your spending account mm-hmm. which is your 700 mm-hmm. so that's a different way to budget yeah because then when you're spending, you don't have to constantly be thinking, oh, am I going to have enough for my rent? Or, oh, am I, yeah, yeah. you know, spending too much on food or whatever? You you know how much you're spending because it's, it's, it's in your spending account. If, yeah. If hopefully that's making, making sense. So you budget with big numbers rather than every single penny. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes a lot of sense and I could see myself in doing that especially Mm -hmm. when it comes to you know (laughs) getting paid and paying myself Mm -hmm. immediately yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's a yeah it's a really nice feeling even if you don't have much like even if Mm. you're saving even Mm. if you're just saving 10 just saving like 10 percent is the is the recommended I don't know yeah whatever but even if you're just saving 10 pounds just you know it's going to separate count is for you after Mm. 10 months you've saved 100 pounds like it really builds up really quickly so yeah yeah Mm. exactly brilliant Mm. well I'm glad I actually (laughs) I'm implementing some of those points myself so yeah Mm -hmm. so I'm on the right track (laughs) <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah so i think um i think that's it really unless you've got anything else to add i i think that mental health can affect your money and then again not having money or having difficulty with money or having debts that can affect your mental health as well so um just trying to sort out the problem i think is yeah. the main thing to do rather yeah. than just getting worried about it and not addressing it or yeah. ignoring it, especially if you've got like debt collectors or anything like that. Those things you need to just try to get them sorted straight away and um, speak to people who you know, speak to your family, just even look around, see if you know anyone who's good with money and ask them, they'll be willing to help you. And yeah, then also, yeah and then also you'll have professional um bodies in your country or if you have a therapist you can ask them they will know who to direct you yeah to yeah and then in england we have the citizens advice bureau and then also there's a lot of guidance and things online yeah oh there's so much online now yeah Yeah, it's a really good um support system online you can practically search for anything and it's all there Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, so look after your mental health look after your physical health look health first yeah no matter what health first keep yourself healthy and then um everything else will work itself out yeah fantastic point i agree with that Mm. yeah 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 so any last words as we uh draw to a close um no apart from thank you for having me on your show and i'm looking forward to the next conversation and the next topic yeah, yeah. thanks so Brilliant. much for, yeah thanks so much for joining definitely been very interesting and thought-provoking conversation and um yeah if anyone's listening and they've got any comments or questions you can put them in the comment section and i'll get back to you and yep you'll find our details on the community tab so you can subscribe to international royals tv and then also my channel reality mental health rmh thank you so much everyone for joining i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day evening or night depending on where you are take care and thanks so much for joining bye thank you bye bye thank you